<coughs> Hello. What I'm going to do today is show you how to make a message box that has multiple buttons that you can press. So to begin with, we're going to create a message. So we're going to go to the message section here, and we're going to right click new. I'm going to want to give it an ID, so I'm going to call it my message. And a title, I'm going to write your choice. So that will appear at the top of the message box here, which should be selected. Now for this I thing, I'm going to have two buttons. One that when you select one button, it will give you a certain weapon, and one if you select another, it will give you another one, just for the purposes of this example. So I'm going to write, which gun would you like? And now down here, I'm going to right click new under this button text thing. An item text, I'm going to write 10 millimeter pistol. And now you'll notice this is zero in this index, that is significant. And so then we'll write um, 10 millimeter SMG. And you'll see these numbers 1 and 0, these are significant, but for now we won't use them. So let's hit OK and our message has been created. Now what we're going to want to do is, I'm going to have it so that there's a terminal that you activate. And that terminal will um, give you the weapon. So I'm going to go to Good Springs, I'm going to go to Doc Mitchell's house. Yeah, I'm in the new Vegas Gek, but this method will also work on Fallout 3. But I opened this Gek for accident, I thought I just can't use it. So, um, I'm now going to go to the activators section. There it is, World Objects Activator. And I'm going to look up console. Let's let me preview this. That looks okay. So now we're going to edit this and give it a new name. A new ID, sorry. And just hit OK for now. And put that in the world. Yeah, I'm just using this for an example. You can really do whatever you want, but I'm just doing this. Because I'm just, tr just trying to think of a decent example, and this is the best I could think up. <laughs> So now we're going to open a script and write new. So we'll give it a script name of choice script. So we're going to write begin on activate. And then we're going to write show message my message. And then we're going to write end and save the script there. So next what you do is write begin menu mode. Hold on, let me just scroll up to the top actually and write you're gonna need to do this short button. Okay, so we're declaring a variable named button. So begin game mode set button to get button pressed. So what that will do is this will set the variable button to whichever button you'll press. So remember the numbers before, number 0 and number 1. So now I'm going to write if, in brackets, button uh, equals 0, play it dot add item. So I'm going to have to check the idea of this of a weapon now, because I realize I don't know what it is. Okay, <coughs> sorry about jump there. What you're gonna want to do next is write begin uh, menu mode. Sorry, and then we're gonna write set button to get button pressed. Sorry, I'm not sure if I did this while well, there was a pause or not, or if I did it earlier. But I've written at the top here in between the name and begin on activate short button. <laughs> So I've essentially declared a variable called button. And so we're setting button to get button pressed. 
and then um, we're going to write it down here if in brackets button equals zero so uh, if we press the button that was indexed at zero we want to do player dot add item web 10 millimeter pistol and if and then if button equals one so if we press the other button play it dot add item web 10 millimeter submachine gun and if end hit save and oh bloody hell made a mistake okay <clears throat> so I spent a while trying to figure out what exactly I'd done wrong. All I missed out is after WEP 10mm pistol you need to add a little number 1 there. And that means that only one of them will be given to you. That's all I missed out, so everything's exactly the same except for that. Now, <clears throat> it's also possible, this script will run every time you activate, but if you, if you want this to only be done once, which is probably a good idea, we'll write short do once up here and we're going to put if do once equals zero up above there and then we're going to put another end if down there and save like that so if do once equals zero and button equals so basically all of this will only run if do once equals zero and then we will also set do once to one so the whole thing will only run once so I'll just run through this again script name choice script short do once short button begin on activate show message my message end so when you activate your activator this message will appear and the message, my message, is the ID of the message that I made before, which is here, my message. And you'll see zero, zero is 10 millimeter pistol, one is 10 millimeter SMG. So begin menu mode, set button to get button pressed. If do once equals zero, and then if button equals zero, so i.e., if you press this you will be given player.addItem web 10mm pistol 1 and this is the editor ID of the 10mm pistol so we hit end if then if button equals 1 so 10mm SMG player.addItem web 10mm submachine gun 1 end if set do once to 1 end if and then end and that is your scripting done so now we find the activator that we made and hit edit base and now find the script that we wrote before and don't forget to save your plugin like that and that is the end of that tutorial this could also be done for Fallout 3 I was working on New Vegas Get because that's just the one I opened Um, thank you for watching the video I hope it was useful hope you enjoyed it goodbye Hello again. Um, I realised I made a mistake in my script, so I've made some minor changes. Now, where it says begin on activate, the if do once is here above the message. So if do once equals zero, show my message set do once to one. End if end, and then it says begin menu mode one zero zero one. But you also need to add that in. And then everything else is the same. I mean, for ease, I'm going to copy and paste this into the description because I've realised I've been making a lot of changes to the script. It's because I just kept making a lot of mistakes. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully this is right this time. Well, I know it's right because I tested it out in my game. But um, hopefully you all managed to follow it, and hopefully you can adapt this to your own style as well. Because I mean, I just did it for randomly selecting weapons. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this was what people wanted, what they needed. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.